Good afternoon and hello to everyone. Um, today I'm going to be doing another unit and this is another natural look. This is um, it's going to be a kinky curly look. However, I'm only going to show you the closure that I'm going to be using because at this moment, as of right now, I'm waiting for DHL and I'm going to have three bundles of hair. I do believe it's going to be uh, 24 inches 24 22 and a 20 inch so um yeah i'm just waiting on that but in the meantime i'm gonna go ahead and show you my 18 inch kinky curly closure and this here of course is the type of cap that i'll be using in fact i've already have it pinned down here to my mannequin that i will be making this on so guys without further ado let's just jump right in here the name of this company that i got the hair uh, closure from is uh full shine and as you can see it is 100 percent human hair and um i'm not sure how you pronounce this wehi or weha china is where it's from so let's go ahead and open the box here i already took it out of the box uh ordered it from Amazon so we don't need to really show that box I don't think and uh, there's the card from Full Shine and uh, a little information they have on that and look inside we have a pretty little it looks like a lily oh, stop. And it's here and there. here we go Oh, that's cute. I may put that in my hair. <laughs> it's a cute little lily. And it's like firm but soft. It feels like it's real. Alright. So we got that. Let's put that to the side. And uh, if I'm doing too much move around, I apologize because I am holding this heavy camera in my hand. And I'm doing this with one hand. I do not have my tripod set up. Um, as you can see, that is kinky curly and I have some baby hairs okay now I actually have a curly unit but that's Brazilian curly this is actually kinky curly and it's more of a coarse texture tighter curl than my other unit that I made look at that it's really soft Closure. I don't plan on bleaching any knots on this. I'll leave it as B. Right. And as you can see, it's tightly wound here. And it looks like it's going to be very, very pretty. So, I'll come right back, guys, as soon as I get a knock at the door with the hair. Stay tight. Okay, guys, the hair is here finally. Sorry I had to stop before, but like I said, I was waiting on the DHL, and there's a package over there. You can see that it came in. I'll just slip it there so you can see. Now, um, I just unzipped this just for time purposes, so I won't be rattling trying to get that loose, because uh, it, it just slides like one of those uh, Glade uh, freezer bags. But anyway, let's see what they got in here for me. Okay, that's the 24 inch hair that I spoke of. And I'll take that out in a second. And here is the company that I got it from off Amazon uh, that sold the hair. It's called All Love. Alright. And my next one is 22 inches. And that's all kinky curly hair. That's the Afro kinky kind of curly hair. That's not like the Brazilian curly hair that you guys saw me make once before. This is this is more of a coarser hair than the Brazilian. Um, kinky, I'm of the Brazilian curly. Now this is the 20 inch. Okay, they have it all rubber band off, as you can see, and looks like they sent. 
two flexi rods. I have no idea what I'm going to do with those. But hey, they can always go with the, the others that I don't even use. And, um, looks like they got me some eyelashes and these look pretty good. I may actually wear these. Normally I'll stick them on my mannequins because I'm not really a big fan of the other lashes. But I like how these flutter. So I think I may actually use these for myself. So I'm going to put those to the side and not stick them back in the bag. Okay, once again, here are my links. That's 20. That's 22. And this one is 24. And I wanted it real long so, you know, I could have that island girl look to myself. I wanted it real long. Normally I get it like midway on the back or shoulders but I want this to be real long oh my god y'all this is so soft I'm definitely going to do the burn test on this let's see I might do it here in front of you guys but it feels so soft it don't even feel like it's real oh my god it's supposed to be kinky curly hair and look at those tight curls that is awesome and here are the webs now you know the longer the length the less hair they give you so I'm definitely going to concentrate on making sure this fills my bottom area. And of course you can tell here that they gave me a little more on the 22. And then you get more. I hope you can see through that on the 20. So I'm going to use this sparingly from the nape of the neck up to my ear. So I can make sure I get all that in good. Okay, let's see if I can get my lighter here real quick I don't think I've ever done this on camera let's see where I want to pull it from I'm just gonna do this little weft right here this little beard is sticking out yes and it's smeared so it is human as well as it stinks like I'll get out of my bathroom now but yes, that is the burn test. You know, if it sticks to you gooey, it is not 100% hair. But if it smears like ash and it stinks like I'll get out, you know, that is 100% human hair. So I can't wait to get this installed. I'm going to end this with you right now. And I'm just going to pan up real quick so you can see that closure I sewed on. Because I was waiting for the hair to come. So... I got that and it is the same. Let's see if I can hold it there. It is the same texture and style. So I did good because I totally ordered it from a different company. Um, I actually, with this company, I actually paid the extra $15 for DHL to ship it because I didn't want to wait two weeks because the shipping is free. Um, what did I pay for this hair? I want to say I paid. I paid $121 plus the $15 for the um, uh, expedited shipping. So technically this hair only cost me $121 for three bundles and it's human hair and of course it came from China but again I ordered it off Amazon and uh, the company is all love so I'm going to end it with that and say everything's all love and thanks for watching Love in the City and I'll be right back finished results
Hi guys, I finally got this unit made, okay? And let me just start off by telling you, this hair is super, super big. I had an idea that it would be big because it's African and curly and I knew it, it would fluff out. So I tried to put my webs in sparingly, but it's still big. And I hope I don't end up taking some tracks out because, excuse me, I don't know if I can being that big. I'm going to turn to the side so you guys can see it. I don't know if you can. Hopefully you can. Let me try standing up. So you can see where it hits on 5.6 and stretched out it's right there in the tailbone but if I let it go that's the width that it is. Okay, hopefully I wasn't too close or maybe I could just kind of sit back like this so you can see it is so it's 24 22 20 with an 18 inch 4 by 4 closure and the closure is pretty dense it is thick uh, I'm not sure if it said 130 or 150 I don't know I think it said 130 but yeah the closure is thick and I guess I don't really want to complain about that because most time they don't make the closures as thick but this one is thick and from the temple up in a U shape, but from the temple up all the way up to the closure, I single wefted it, I, which means I split the tracks so I don't have to double weft it all the way up. Can you imagine if I used that double weft all the way up? That hair would be so freaking big. Oh my god, it would be so big. But yeah, I single, I usually single weft the top so it would have a natural flat lay to it as much as possible. And my hair is braided underneath my braid pattern. I have a part of the middle. And I think I have I think I have four or five braids. I think I have five braids on each side braiding down. And then my back is braided all the way straight back. Okay, and then I connect all the braids together and just one make one big braid all the way around the bottom and I sew that down so it doesn't come loose. And I usually have to redo my braids over like a month and a half I don't think it, I think a while back I was going to two months but now it's just growing so uh, you know out of the braid so quickly I'm, I'm braiding it over a month and a half in so uh, in a couple of weeks I'll be braiding it over again because it'll start getting loose and all like that so but yeah I braid it like that to keep it as flat I don't braid it straight back because it'll give to me that gives humps but I just part in the middle and I put five on this side braid it down I'm not just braid the back straight back so but anyway this hair is still big y'all let's see if I can flip it around my shoulder and I'm talking about it's big because I got a bad habit of playing in my hair I always have and uh, I don't see that changing anytime soon because I'm 46 I doubt it changes <laughs> I've been playing in my hair for a long time girl but anyway um this is how it would be if I wanted to put it in a ponytail and you see how thick that is. Okay. And um, I haven't shampooed it, so it still got that real stiff kind of look to it. I think once I shampoo and condition, it may relax a little bit for me. Um, I haven't sewn in the elastic band, but I will, so you know it won't slide because like you saw me talk on a second ago. I felt like it wanted to slide and I have on a wig cap so I am uh, going to do that from ear to ear. I'm going to sew um, the elastic band in and put the band on you know then flip the wig up over and uh, yeah I'm just going to want to rock it like that. Now like I said I uh, or if I didn't say it I don't remember if I said it. Uh, my husband I said it is really big hair. I don't know how I feel about this big hair. I need to be on somebody's stage with a fan blowing and you know singing some song and you know popping it and dropping it and doing it you know what I mean but, <laughs> but uh, he's like oh he like it big oh, whatever but uh yeah he could have said he didn't like it but yeah he said he likes it like that big whatever and um I don't know. I guess I'm gonna try and rock it and just make my face up, put some clothes on, and go. Cause you know, I spent the money on it, so I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna rock it, and um, 
my other one that I made that's similar like this, similar to this one, which is shorter. It's only like 22 inches, but it meets half midway up my back. It doesn't go all the way down like this one. And this is what I wanted, something that actually goes all the way down because with me, you know, I'm not stuck in the summer spring here. I'm not that type of girl. I just if I want to be blonde, I'm gonna wear it all year round. That's that's just how I rock it. But you know, for those of who who do the summer spring here, I love it. But for me, I'll wear it all year round if I spend my money on it and if I want to wear it. So that's how I'm going to do it. But, um, yeah, uh, I, so far I don't have any complaints about it. The hair when it came, it was really, really soft. It still is soft. And they were not skimpy on the webs, I promise you. Because um, I've ordered hair before. The, the other hair that I ordered, the webs at the, at the ends of the hair was so thin that so I end up... And I think that was 24 inches of hair that I bought and it ended up being a 22 because I had to trim all them scraggly ends off. With this, I didn't have to do that. I mean, I had to shape it, of course, yeah, it took some hair off, but that's because it was so, excuse me, y'all, that's because it was so long to where, you know, I wanted to blend with this 18 inch closure. So all this hair was like really long. So I just kind of pulled the hair down. Of course, I tried it on and just took my razor comb and then used my scissors because I didn't want to blunt cut to it. I just used my razor comb and pulled it out like this and you know try to get it to meet with the rest of the hair as much as possible without taking all the length off and I think I achieved that and uh, I don't know if you like it if you do say you like it say hey I like it but um I don't know y'all how I feel about it I think I need to wear it for a while Cause that's how I am, you know, I'd be like, okay. Okay, now I like it, you know, the older you get, the better it gets. But the curls are popping, look at those. Let's see if I can bring it up close. Those curls are popping. Them curls ain't no job, they pretty. And uh, I'm not gonna put any color on this, but as I was gonna tell you about the other unit that I made from a different company. Uh, this is This hair, by the way, is from All Love AL. L O V E hair, all of hair on Amazon. They're based in China, so I don't know if it's on this AliExpress that everybody is on, but uh, all of hair is on. Uh, I got off Amazon, and uh, they offer free shipping, but I had my expedited for 15 extra bucks if you want to do that. But it was a great deal. It was cheap hair. It was a great deal for like three bundles of hair. I spent 121. Plus the fifteen dollars shipping, so I don't know for the hair I spent like one hundred thirty-six dollars and change, and that's pretty good for like three bundles of hair, like curly hair like that, because they're charged all the way up to two hundred dollars, like just for hair, they're not even the closure. But um, and all I think I spent one seventy something to be honest, because my closure I ordered from someone else, and the closure. So I'm getting distracted by touching it. Uh, the closure, um, I would have to look it up to tell you who I ordered from. So if you're interested in that, you know, just message me. But I'll, I'll, I'll try to put it in the description bar for you. But uh, I ordered the hair from someone else and I did not pay the expedited shipping on that. That hair, this closure cost me $42 and I just let them send it to me and it got here in two weeks. But the hair, I went ahead and just had it expedited. But I guess I'll get used to it. I've always worn like big curly hair. I've worn more big curly hair. That's way before I even started filming, uh, putting videos up on YouTube. But um, I just prefer the curly hair because I can be all up in my my man and lay down or whatever, and I have to worry about oh my curls messed up or it's flat now or whatever. Or if it's raining outside, you worry about your hair falling. Like I did this past weekend. Uh, going downtown, I wish uh, I wish I had put on my curly unit instead of that freaking body wave because it ended up raining and my hair fell. It was just it was annoying. But anyway, I won't bore you with that. But yeah, um, I think I'm just gonna rock curly hair for a while. Hopefully, you guys won't get tired of me making a curly unit. You know, I'm gonna make another one, and uh, I think I'm gonna try and make a short one. Who knows? I've always made the short ones, so I'm into the long ones now, but uh, I'm going to end this video because it's going to end up being really long, so I hope you guys like it, and I will be sure to 
include some pictures for you guys, okay? So, I'll see you guys later.